All right, we just gotta test it out. Calling all vessels, this is sailing freestyle. Repeat, sailing freestyle. I'm about to take over the world. <laughs> Works good.
All right, we're getting there. Um, so far, our switch, the main battery switch is all hooked up. Switch panel's hooked up. I got the, um, the meter that monitors the load hooked up. So let's just test this out right now. We're gonna switch it. We're pretending that we're on battery two. Um, meter lights up. It's reading, can you see that? Um, 12.73 volts coming out of battery. A little low, but whatever. Um, so then we're going to activate the main cabin light circuit now, so that would actually activate all the lights in the cabin. Um, so that circuit is active, and then the load we're going to test out is this little light here. And here we go. Got power to that. And then as you can see, that um, light is taking up about one quarter of an amp um, out of the battery. Is that like backwards for you? It's backwards for me. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Cameras, phones. So yeah, cool. Thing works. This works. Um, it all works. Go shut that up. Uh, your amps drop and your watts drop. And then we'll turn the main battery back off. And the meter's off. That's gonna do it for tonight because I'm freaking tired. Um, and we'll keep wiring the rest of it, um, maybe tomorrow. Guys! Guys, I found the cargo switch I lost! I found it! It was on the ground right over there! I found the cargo switch! It's right here! I found it! about ready to call the um, dash panel or nav station or whatever we want to call it um, done here with the exception of a few missing uh, switches for the bilge pumps um, turned out some of the switches that I had lying around um, from another project were no bueno so I have to order those um, but eventually that will be these three switches down here um, so grand tour here we got the uh, weather station up front. Uh, this might look familiar to some of you guys because we gave one of these away uh, during the Christmas giveaway. Um, so then you got your main battery switch over here. The um, main circuit breaker switch panel here. Uh, you got two separate ga gauges each to uh, monitor each of the two batteries or battery banks eventually maybe. Um, these switches right here. We'll turn them on without needing to turn the main battery on so you can just monitor your battery without running anything else. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. But we only, because we have one battery to test it out, I only got one that's able to hook up. Uh, then you got your horn button here um, that will be operated. Then you can operate from inside the cabin. Um, then you got a 12 volt uh, regular like cigarette lighter output thing here. Then you got two USBs here. Uh, below that will be the three switches for each of the three bilge pumps I'm going to have. I'm going to have one um, on the port side, one on the starboard side to get either side of the uh, tanks, and then one in the back lazarette. Um, so that will cover any kind of water that's coming into the boat um, that we don't want in there. Just not going to want that. Just doesn't happen, but you know, better safe than sorry. I'd rather put them in there just to be safe, just in case. We got the new VHF. Um, United, what is it, like the 380? Yeah, UM380. Um, I'm going to sign up for the uh, Amazon affiliate. So if you want any of these things in here, if you click the link below, that will go directly to Amazon where you can buy any of this stuff. Um, and if you do that, I get a kickback. Um, so yeah, that's cool too. Uh, uh, yeah, that's everything. So let's test it all out. Go into first person view mode. All right, so let's turn this bitch on. Uh, we have one battery hooked up to number one, but we're going to go to one and two just so we can, you know, flip this on. Now this will power on um, because battery one is powering both of them. Uh, and then we can turn the cabin lights on here. Um, we got this reading light up here. So again, this will turn on the entire circuit of all the lights. Um, the main cabin lights will have a separate switch. And then each individual reading light or dome light will have its own switch, obviously. So because we turn that circuit on, then we can turn this light on. Um, then you got the navigation lights. That will be your, um, your nav lights up front. And then we got... DC outlets and that will power as you can see the fan came on because now the um, DC outlets are powered up and we're gonna have these uh, USB outlets in a couple different places throughout the boat and then we got your accessories which includes the VHF so now that that's working and if you can see now that we're running some of these things you can see the current that's going through the system um, I'm not exactly sure why the currents are off for each of these. Um, you can actually watch some current drop when you hold down the mic, because that takes up a great deal of current. Um, 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 um. Next one over would be the anchor light, and that's gonna be actually the, um, the mass headlight. And then you're gonna have the stern light. And then this would be your instruments then the last one would be bilge pump and that again that's going to be three separate bilge pumps which are going to be controlled down here manually so if you want to turn on one pump individually or all of them at once manually here they would also have a float switch on in case water comes in unbeknownst and it gets to a certain level the float switch will kick on automatically but if you just want to turn them on manually yourself you would have three switches for each of the three separate bilge pumps here. And again, horn, beep, beep. That's connected to, um, I think, the accessories circuit. And there you have it. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode, I think. Um, we'll make the electronics or the electrical system a two-part episode um, just so I can get a video out there for you guys um, without it taking too long. Um, so basically we accomplished this episode, we are able to run all the wiring in the boat to, um, for, um, most of the lights, at least the, the main cabin lights and the two dome lights that's going to be over the, in the head. And the one that I, um, originally was going to have down in the storage, in the V-berth, I think would just be a waste of a light. Um, you can use a flashlight if you really need to. So what I did, instead of having this reading light, um, um, be in the Bieber. I put it here because I figured um, it would just be a good little spot to have another reading light. That way, if all the other lights are off in the boat, but you still want to look at a map or something like that, because there's going to eventually be like a little desk area here, or read a book or something like that, this would be perfect. Um, so I threw that there. Um, so yeah, we did all the lights. The only lights left are going to be the two reading lights in the aft berth. 
Um, so that's the only thing we didn't do accomplish lighting wise. Um, but it's kind of light up. And we, um, we did this whole panel, which I think came out friggin' awesome. Um, and this is going to be installed on the starboard side. Um, am I still going here? The starboard side. So basically, this is the wall here. This is like a little groove on the uh, the side of the boat. And this comes down here, and like your your entryway, your um, companionway is right here. The ladder would be like here ish. So it's going to be kind of like a wall almost separating the, uh, the cabin from the, uh, the berth there. And we'll house all these cool electronics. Um, but that's all going to come next episode because it's going to be way too complicated of a project to squeeze in um, into this episode. So guys, again, if you um, enjoyed this episode, uh, give me the likes, the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want to buy any of these gadgets that you see behind me for your own projects, Check out the links below. That'll bring you to Amazon where you can buy a bunch of this stuff. Um, and also, consider being a patron. Thank you to the new patrons who've signed up. I've got a couple new patrons, so thank you very much. Um, so if you could all go over there and check it out, consider um, signing up to be a patron. I, I give a little updates. If you are a patron, you've already seen some uh, previews for this, which is a nice little perk to being a patron. So, uh, yeah, go check that out if you want, and um, you can always share with your friends to help out. You know, like, side, subscribe, and share. That's always a, a big, big help because um, that drives the numbers, and the numbers are what, you know, make the YouTube thing turn around and, and make video, the advertisements pop up, and the advertisements pop up, and then my, my YouTube account goes up, and then I get to buy this kind of stuff. And then when I get to buy this kind of stuff, I get to make more videos. So it all works out, all right? So everybody's happy. So uh, do all that, and that would be awesome. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Um, thank you guys very, very much for subscribing. Again, it makes my day every time that email pops up that says suck and such subscribes. Um, so, uh, all right, the official end of the video ramble is coming to an end. What am I at? Three minutes and 30 seconds for the end of the video ramble. <sighs> All right, guys. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Till next time.